Good morning fellow car pet fans. Today we're going to work on the muffler system I hope, get that installed. And we're getting there. I was just looking at my history thing at home. One year ago today we dropped that baby in the engine. One year ago today. Really? Yep. Either that or we got the summit covers. <laughs> I'm going to vote for the summit covers. Yeah, that no. seems like a lot longer than that, that yeah, we did I that. I know what we did. I think we painted the fender wells. Yeah. No, because we painted the car last August. So we're almost up to a year of that. And the engine was in there well before that. But Where's my still sanding sign when I need it? It's in the trunk. I know. I kept it there for you. Yeah, I know. We still haven't uh, gotten rid of it because we, we know we still have to sand the car to do wet sanding and buffing and stuff. Yes, it's still there. We'll frame that one. Uh, that's what I get as an award. Yeah, 2016. I think we're pushing to 21 before we're done. Wet sanding, what do you think? Yeah, we might have it done by the yep. uh, five, six, five year anniversary. Yep. Ensemble. It is an ensemble. Yes. So Pops just uh, cleaned up everything here. This stuff was disgustingly dirty with this grease I'll oil. I'll pressure test it. Let's see. There's the grease. There's the just grease. kidding. Yeah. Um, so there's all the parts. Well, there's more parts, clamps and such, but Pops cleaned all this up so that I don't get disgustingly dirty while I'm working under the car. Thank you, Pops. You're welcome. Um, we got the car up in the air. Um, there's jack stands under the car. Um, plus we also have additional support here, so if anything gives way, it's not going to fall on me. Um, it didn't raise it up much, but I didn't need a lot of room. Just a little bit there will help. So, we should be good to go. Um, so, well, since I, I covered this in another video here, um, I'll put it on this one. Um, so this is the Hooker Blackheart kit. Um, this is custom made for this car with that four link. So this thing just bolts in. Shouldn't give us any trouble. Um, except in the front, uh, it's designed for the hooker headers or something up front, which we don't have. Um, so we'll have to do a little bit of modification for the pipes to get them to fit on the cats here. Um, this came up in a previous video when I talked about this. I know the cats are too low. Um, I'm not going to do anything about that right now. Um, so we're going to put this kit in as is, as best we can. Um, and then down the road, we'll take it to a muffler shop and have them uh, fix up any loose stuff. Um, raise those cats a little bit if we can. And uh, some of this stuff will be welded, some of it won't. I want to leave the mufflers open so that I can swap them out. Um, the cats I have to be careful with because, again, this is smog controlled. Um, there are, there's a requirement listed in the documentation somewhere about, I forget what it is, the distance from the shortest runner to the cat or the longest runner to the cat, I forget. Um, so that, since it's a dual cat, I think the distance between that and the first cat I can't change, but maybe I can change the distance between the second cats. Um, so that intermediate pipe right there in between, I might be able to do something. What you really want to do is move that one up front, and I don't know if I can. Uh, so we'll see. Um, we'll do the best we can. That's all we can do. Okay, so the plan here, um, I'm going to have to cut the front tubes here, and I don't exactly know where. Uh, so we're going to start from the back-ish and work our way forward. Um, so we know the pieces that have to go over the forelink and the rear end go here and then there's some stuff that goes in the back here that have um, the hangers so we kind of have an idea where those are supposed to go um, the hangers that go here we have to install on the car so those have some play but we'll figure it out so we'll, we'll start from the middle here get to here um, then we have the mufflers then the x-pipe and then from here forward we have to cut to the right length so, so we'll start in this area here start putting things together hello <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with this guy. Ugh. Try and remember how I did this before. I fed it again this way. Easy peasy. So that goes 
was about up here somewhere. Something like that. Okay. And then... All right, next is this guy. This is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. I need the other one. Let's try that again. Flathead screwdriver. Uh -huh. Try and bend this open a little bit here if I can. This may work against me. But... you back and I'll figure this out. All right, I'm not entirely sure I, I have that in the right place there at the back, but that's what we're going with. Uh, so that goes like so. And this goes up over the four link and then over here and then this, oh, sorry, I can't see you there. This hanger here um, has to get attached up in here someplace, but we don't exactly know where yet, so we'll just leave this hanging like this through the passenger side. Then we'll put the mufflers and the cross pipe in. Uh, hopefully, it will line everything up where it needs to go. All right, so I'll show you what we're up against here. So we got everything kind of stuck up there. Um, now you can see what we're dealing with up front here. So we got a two and a half inch pipe. It's got to get to a three inch pipe. Um, so I've got some reducers to go there. Um, then we have to figure out where we need to cut this pipe. Um, as I was telling Pops, the diff distance between the cats is really pushing it on this, uh, the distance between these two. So I've got those out about as far as I can into the, the adapters right there. So I'm hoping there's enough there to not have an exhaust leak. It's going to be really close. Um, but we'll see. Um, so we'll get the reducers, figure out exactly, well, approximately where things need to go. And then we're going to have to cut these pipes down to size. All right, so this is what we have. So this is a two and a half inch ID, three inch ID um, to go in between the cat and the exhaust. So lay this up there, see approximately where it goes, um, and then make some cuts. We'll probably make them a little bit long. Um, this this can slide in pretty far on the three inch side here. Um, the cats have this little bung on them that's going to get in the way for sliding that on there. I may have to grind that off because um, it, it's going to get in the way of the clamp or the reducer here, but we'll see. All right, so here you can see the reducer. So that little bung on there, you see it keeps it from going any further, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should grind that thing off um, so I can get a little more this is right up at the edge there. Yeah, I think I'll grind that off. It'll give me a little more room to work with. Fire up the compressor. All right, we got everything in here. Um, needs a little bit of tweaking. You can see the mufflers aren't pivoted exactly the same angle and stuff, but it's there, it's too low. Definitely it's too low, um, but that's caused by the cats up front, so we know that. So once we get the cats fixed, the front will come up. Um, and it should be good. Uh, let me show you what stuff's like around the back here. Here's what the exhaust tips look like. Oh, sorry. Um, so you can, well, it's got to hit in the side of the car. It's got to tweak that a little bit. But, like that. Oh, that one's probably sticking down a little too far. I can bring that up a little bit. Um, Oh, 
All right, the more interesting stuff here. So this clears the tank, okay. Let me see around the side here. Um, it's close to this corner here where the vent line goes, but I think it's all right. Um, over here, that's pushing it a little bit. This again is a vent. Um, I'm gonna redo the vent anyway. I found a, a fluid check valve, and plus I put, this thing isn't gonna work the way I have it, so I have to move it anyway. So we can slide this over a little bit. The fuel lines are coming up right in through here. I don't know what you guys think about that, if that's going to be a problem or not. I don't think the exhaust back here really gets all that hot, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, I can put some heat wrap around this if it is, but I think it's going to be okay. And then the hard line goes up here. Got about an inch there. You can see. Yeah, so I can get the camera up in there. I don't know if it shows that or not. But... And then on this side, we have the vent line comes out right here, again, behind here. Um, I can tweak this a little bit to get this out of the way, put something to kind of hold it back. So that's about an inch away. I think that's okay. Um, so let me know what you think about all this, if this is uh, going to be a problem or not. Like I said, don't worry about this. That's going to move up in the middle here somewhere. Um, let me show you up under the side of the car. I'm trying to avoid shaky cam here because I'm freaking tired. Um, so you can see, so part of the problem here is this cat on this side, the outlet tube goes down for some reason. I don't know why, which exacerbates this problem. The other side's not quite as bad. You can see over there. Um, so just taking these outlet pipes and making them straight would, would help a lot, obviously. But um, So you can see it's up nice and tight there at the back, but it kind of droops down here in the front. And again, it's just because of the cats, so it's not really much we can do about it um, until we get the cats fixed. Hopefully we can get the cats fixed um, in a way that the referee will be happy with. So clearly we have to get those up a little bit, but the exhaust isn't really hanging down much different than the cats, so it's not all that different. Definitely too low, but whatever. We will deal with it when the time comes. You can see lots of room for that thing to come up there. So I think we're good. Uh, we're gonna call it a day here. Um, as long as we don't have any major exhaust leaks, we're not gonna really worry about this. Like I said, if it works, it's good enough. We'll take it to the muffler shop when the car's done, have them clean it up. Uh, and they'll just you know, redo whatever they have to redo on here. I'm not gonna worry about it, but it should be good enough for now. I hope. Tell me you have something profound to say after that day of obliteration on my part. We had a fantastic day. A lot of progress. Whole bottom basically was done for one wire. We got to right, trace through. Outstanding. We're getting there. I think within a week or two, we should be. Next week, we should have everything done. Yeah. And ready to prime the engine, test the fuel pump, check it. So next week, if all goes according to plan, we'll post that, get all the fluids in it, make sure everything looks good. The following weekend, right. I hope. Oh, and he got the key. I have a key, yes. That's all we need. The key to success. I was telling Dad, the, the coolest thing is, the, for me, the, the steering column, it came with the, the tumbler on it. And I, I was thinking about it, I'm like, well, did it come with a key? Because if it didn't come with a key, how's that going to work? And then I went <laughs> rooting through the package, and sure enough, it had a key. And it's just like a totally pro-looking GM key. It's like it was machined or something. It was really nice. I'll show it next time. Um, but I was so, so excited. It's the first key to the car. Yeah. Like, I've never had a key to this car of any All kind. Because right. there's no locks on it. Well, yeah, there's no locks. Um, so now we have an ignition key. We're getting there, folks. Yeah, we're probably not going to put the steering column in and use it right away. Right. Save that for another day. We accept egg crates for seats coming up. Yes, anyone that has egg crates, they want to donate. <laughs> That's our joke right now is when we want to take it for a drive. That's not going to work. So I'll just, actually, just leave that seat like that. Yeah, just put go. the back seat across there and we're all set. With the aluminum oxide all over it. That's yeah, it's such a mess in here. Ugh. I just sucked that up. All right. Are you good? Hey, no. See you later. Take care, everybody.